A scathing new report has just been released about a Gilroy City Councilwoman. The report is the result of an independent investigation called for by the city after a deadly shooting at a Halloween party at that Councilwoman's home. NBC Barry's Damian Trujillo is in Gilroy with the findings. After the incident, there were calls for the council member to resign. After this report came out, those calls are now growing louder. The shooting left an 18-year-old dead and another teen suffering serious injuries. The Halloween party where it all happened was at the home of Gilroy Councilwoman Rebecca Armendariz. One person was arrested for murder, only to later be released for lack of evidence. Today, the city released the results of an independent investigation. It's a scathing 120-page report about Armendariz. It was a very thorough investigation, from what I can tell. As a result, the city issued Armendariz 10 citations for violating city ordinances. Among them, an ordinance meant to curb underage drinking. Investigators also say she violated Gilroy's special permits requirement. The report also states that Armendariz knew more about the party than she initially let on, like the fact that she helped book portable toilets for her underage nephew for the event. I think it's beyond doubt that she needs to go now. Ron Kirkish is a longtime community activist who's been calling for Armendariz's resignation. So I think it's time. We need, we need city council people that, that uh, don't uh, do things. Uh, encourage kids to do bad stuff. In a text exchange, Armendariz told me she would appeal the city citations decision. Beyond those citations, the mayor says there isn't much the city can do. Censure or removal? Or, uh, we, no. Th this, that was the whole point of the statement that I was trying to make, is to inform the public that this has nothing to do with the course and scope of a council member. The mayor says that's because Armendariz attended the party as a private citizen, not a councilwoman. The city posted the entire report on its website, the mayor says, so residents can draw their own conclusions. The criminal investigation in the case continues. The victim's family declined to talk on camera, but in a brief phone conversation, the victim's grandmother told me she is glad this report is finally out. In Gilroy, Damien Trujillo, NBC Bay Area News.